it's time to dish with D. That's me. Thank you for clicking on this video and making yourself a priority. I am Denise. Today is a fun video. This is a requested video. Um, I love doing like review videos. Um, I had done a few, it's been several weeks back. I did a pros and cons of Weight Watchers. And if you didn't see that one, it will be linked in the I cards and also at the end of the video. At the end of every video, there's usually a video that correlates to the video that you're watching and maybe you didn't see it yet. So there's always something linked. So, so something if I mention it, it might be on a video that's there. So always check those out if you haven't already seen them. But this is the pros and cons of Healthy. Now Healthy is an app. It is not, well, I guess you could call it a plan. I mean, they have a weight loss plan, but it is basically just an app. They do not, I no, correct me if I'm wrong, they don't have a, what would you call a website or a, if you can go on your computer to it. Like Weight Watchers does, but it's very limited on that. You can't do a lot of things on that. I don't think there's connect. If there is, you can, I have a very disconnect with, with the website on the, um, there's a word I'm looking for that I can't pick it out, but um, Healthy, I believe, does not have anything where you can go on your computer and like, you know, I do input my recipes from Weight Watchers on the computer because it's just a little bit easier to see. Girl's got cataract problems, but you don't have the scanner though, unless you're in your iPad. So, I mean, there's just pros and cons, but um, I wish there was a you know, a version for the computer. That's a con, I think, because I feel like a lot of people like, they like PCs, they like laptops, they like big things. Not everybody has a phone, you know? I mean, and some of the, um, you know, the generation a few years older than me, there's a lot of them that don't like smartphones. They just want to make calls and that's it. Um, and I think, you know, not having a, a, a version for a computer, I think is a, is a con. I think you can do that. I don't think why not do it. You know, it's to me, not everybody's going to use it, but some people will. I bet you, you'll get some people. So I find that to be a con, you know, again, that's just my little pet peeve. I wish they had both, but they, as far as I know, they don't know if I'm wrong, let me know because you know, I don't know everything. I hope I say that I really don't know everything. These are just my opinions and what I say. So price point is a pro the pro you <laughs> the pro version uh the price one is very good for the healthy app i've somebody said it was 50 dollars, but they always have it on sale for 30. i've never seen it higher than 30. you know every time i i've always it's always been 30 dollars, 30 dollars. so it's 30 dollars for the whole we'll just say it's 30. if i'm wrong i'm wrong but it's always been 30 for me it might say 50 with a slash and 30 but i've never seen it for 50 but it's 30 dollars for the full year and that gives you all the pro features and that's a that is a pro because their pro version has a lot of features that Weight Watchers does not and what would they be well you have all the dull WW plans now I believe that you get most of the plans on the free version I do believe the app if you just bought the app I think there's a fee just for purchasing I think it's like a five dollars I, I feel like I paid five bucks for it but I don't remember but you have all the old WW plans now some of us like the old WW plans where Weight Watchers does not offer them they're saying that their science has advanced which okay it, I, I buy that but if I like this plan, why can't I do it? It's a, it's your plan. Why can't you, you know, allow me to do it? I mean, because your meetings and your, your mindset challenges are all the same for what plan you're on. Because the meetings aren't focused on the plan you're on. They're just on weight loss in general. So I don't see why Weight Watchers doesn't do that. Where healthy, you can get points plus, I mean, there's a few on there I, I've never done, so I can't even attest to the other ones. But I know Points Plus is on there. I know um, Freestyle is on there. They don't call them that because they can't, which makes sense. Um, Better Balance is the Freestyle plan or the old blue plan. Sugar Smart is the old green plan, which is the old Smart Points plan. And I don't know what Points Plus is called, <laughs> but it's there. Um, so yeah, so you have those plans. That's a pro. There's so many people I hear, oh, I love this plan, love my old plan. I, so why not be able to do something that you connect with? Yes, it might not be the top notch of science, but it still works for you. 
I find that the fact that Weight Watchers doesn't allow that is a big no-no. And I think that's a great pro for, for Healthy to do that. I don't know how they did it. They call them bites, not points. And that's how they get away with it. But, you know, and also they have, if you get the pro version, you could have a secondary metric, which means not only are you counting the bites, you are counting whatever you, there's calories, there's macros. There might be a third thing, but I do the macros, which gives me calories, protein, carbohydrates, and fat. And it's all, it's right there. It's your points are, your bites are here and your macros are right above it. So you just put it in once and it takes care of it. That's nice to see. It's just nice to see out of the corner of my eye. Yes, I'm following bites, but I get just to double check. Isn't that what we want to do? We want to make sure we're, people are complaining. I'm not eating enough. I'm not eating enough. Well, here you go. Here you go. It's right there. And it's, you adjust that. You adjust how many, um, which is a pro, you get to adjust how much protein like it's not going to figure it out for you you put it in so if you want to have 100 grams of protein you put that in as your goal so i think that's nice you have all that adjustability in there that which is nice it puts us in the driver's seat which is where we should be in the driver's seat so that's definitely a pro and having all those old plans is definitely a pro and having that secondary macros is a pro because and you know Weight Watchers needs to come with the times because people want to see that. I mean, if you're definitely saying, well, you're eating enough, well, then prove it to me by, yeah, they give you the macros individually, but they don't total it for you. I guess they're a points-based plan, but I feel like if you want that, you should be able to toggle that and see it. They have good recipes. They have um, menu plans in the Healthy app, which is a pro. Um, they're just not as easy to find, which is a con. I will tell you the big con for that app is it's not very user friendly. It's not. And you know, I've gotten better with it by just focusing on it by instead of like how many of us, I want to see a show of hands to do, use two or three different apps. I hear all the time, "Oh, I track on here and here." That makes it even more difficult because you can't get used to the idiosyncrasies of an app when you're going to three different, two or three different ones because you don't really get involved in it. And I, for the last, what's today, the 26th, 27th, I've been solely tracking in there. And I will say I've gotten much better. I've gotten a lot better. And that's because I focus just on this app. So yeah, so it, it's gotten better for me that I just focus on this app. And I have, um, you know, my buddy Roy from Recipes with Roy. I will link him down below. He has fan, no sense me doing it when he's already done it. And he did a great, did, done a great job. He does a whole app tutorial on healthy. He breaks it down and it might help somebody that's new to healthy. I will have his channel linked down below and with the link right to the tutorial for healthy. I've done one, but I think mine might be too old. I'd have to look at it again. I haven't, it was a few years ago. I think it was over COVID that I made it. So that's, yeah, we're talking a while ago. So mine could be a little outdated. And he um, gave me a few hints on there. Like I didn't realize, like a lot of people complain that when they're unhealthy as a con, they don't get the right measurements. Like when you scan something and it only gives you milliliters or it only gives you cups or it only get you want grams. A lot of us like grams. I like to measure in grams. Well, it doesn't offer that. But with Roy's geniusness, he showed me how I can go in there and edit that and add grams in there. So that opened up a whole door. That made it a pro because I was able to fix it. Yes, it takes a little bit of an extra step, but once it's done, it's done. And I feel like if it's something I'm going to have regularly, I want to do that. So if I remember to show you, at least show you that, because that to me is a game changer. You could add your different ways of measuring in. Oh my gosh. So yeah. So again, I think we think negatively of the app because, oh, it, but we don't know all the little things it can do. So definitely check out Roy. They have a community. That's a pro. Um, it's basically as, as user friendly as connect, which is not the best either. So it's a hard community to go look things up. Um, but it's definitely, it's got groups and well, here's a good pro. You can make a group. I don't think, correct me if I'm wrong, but maybe I don't know. Can you make a group on connect? I don't know. I don't, I've never looked. I don't think you can, 
but I created a group on healthy dish with D. Yeah. So if you're unhealthy, um, look me up. I was like, oh my gosh, I made a group in there. So that's a great resource as well, because you could share within the people that you know, all your recipes, some tips, some tricks, what you eat in a day, you know, like in a, within your little core group. And I thought that was really cool, like to be able to start your own. I mean, get, get around it. If everybody started their own, maybe they'd be too busy. I don't know. But I think it's a great pro that you can do that. I definitely like that. Uh, definitely. I did mention it's not as user friendly as Weight Watchers, but I do believe with all my heart, it's because you're not giving it a hundred percent. I think if you totally commit to healthy for a couple of weeks, I would say at least two full weeks, just tracking in there, I think you will fare better than just tracking here, my fitness pal, lose it, wait, I'm telling you, I'm telling you, why are you tracking on more than one app? If you, I mean, healthy does it. Healthy gives, if, especially if you like the, the green or the blue plan, just do it. And what is it, you know, the only difference is a few point difference between Weight Watchers points plan now and the freestyle plan. Um, a few of the points change, but not drastically. So if you're following their, excuse me, better balance plan, you're following Weight Watchers points plan as they call it but yeah the points are slightly different but all your zero point foods are pretty much the same I think with the addition of popcorn but honestly I feel like if you if if your budget doesn't allow for what you're paying for Weight Watchers and you're only doing online only anyway I would say give healthy a try and here's the funny thing you could quit WW try healthy not like it and guess what you can go back to Weight Watchers and you'll probably get a special. So yeah, I always say nothing is ever etched in stone. Give something a try, because you just don't know. It might be just the little tweak that you need. And again, nothing's ever etched in stone. Isn't the trees look beautiful back there? And this is the top I thrifted, by the way. Squirrel, but I had to say that. Um, on the health, here's another con on healthy. Um, at least I don't know where they're at, if they're there. R please tell me if I'm wrong. Um, I don't remember seeing any mindset like podcasts or, or podcasts in general on there, unless I just not seen them. But I know Weight Watchers has a lot of mindset tips. There's a lot of podcasts to listen to, walking podcasts. There's a lot of that on Weight Watchers. So that's a con unless I just don't know where they're at. Again, I wouldn't be surprised if I don't know where they're at. Because again, I am just a busy person, but I've not seen mindset stuff. So if there is, please let me know. I mentioned there was no workouts. Now, there used to be workouts. They were called Ube, Obe, Ube on Weight Watchers, but they got rid of that, which apparently I didn't utilize, so I didn't know they were gone. But I don't believe there's any unhealthy either. So there's no workouts that I know of. A con for healthy is there no, there's no current WW plan isn't there. Um, point, uh, personal points didn't make it to healthy either. So they're back we'd say what two years two and a half years close to three maybe it would it be three years this year that personal points came out i can't remember but we'll say at least two to three years they haven't had a plan in there for personal points now maybe weight washers did something that they can't copy it i don't know but there's no update since the blue green and purple and people do um like i said you can adjust your app which is a pro on healthy to make it the purple plan like you can adjust the points you get a day there's a place where you could put points 16 points if you wanted so as i said there's a lot of adjustability in there where you can't adjust any of that on weight watchers um you can adjust your points and if you know your zero point purple foods and you follow say sugar smart or um, better balance, which is the same algorithm as the purple plan. Just know those zero point foods and put your points at 16. You could finagle the purple plan. I know Roy explains that as well. So that is a pro. A lot of people loved the purple plan. They did. Now I wasn't a huge fan. I liked a few of the zero point foods. I liked the avocado and the oats. It wasn't a fan of the rice and the pasta. I just thought it was just too much of a high point thing. Um, so yeah, that's a, that's a con that I really wish they would have gotten personal points in there. Um, but the pro is you can 
do the purple plan. So, which is kind of fun. You just have to finagle it. So I feel like I want to put you in the, in the charge, in the driver's seat. So that is so far what I've, what I've experienced in the last couple of weeks. So maybe we'll do an update on this video if I find out more information. Like I said, I wanted to get this out there because I've been asked several times, but those are my pros and cons of the healthy app. There's more pros and cons. And a lot of the cons you could probably find for free. It's not like, you know, I've not, um, and I know pro is they do do a Facebook um, meeting. I think it's, don't quote me. I think it's Jordan. I think it's Tuesday nights on the Facebook page. And somebody did tell me now, again, I don't know this for a fact, that you could attend it. I think it's $3. Again, don't know this for a fact. Um, you could attend a, a meeting for, but I don't know that. That I've never, but I know Jordan goes live on Facebook. I believe it's Tuesdays. So it's definitely, um, you should definitely find them on Facebook and, and follow them, find them on Instagram and follow them. Well, that's where a lot of the information comes out. So if you're on the social media, if you have a Facebook, I would say follow the healthy app and follow the Instagram page as well. And some of the coaches have their own personal pages. There's a lot of coaches that you might know that are on are healthy. I mean, I know Active Rachel Ann is a coach on healthy. I know Brianna, who is I think Diva and the Divine is a coach on healthy. Uh, Lisa from Dumpy to Diva is a coach on healthy. There's several, I mean, they're just off the top of my head. Um, so there's a lot of coaches you can check out. You might already follow on YouTube or Instagram and stuff like that. So definitely, and I like the fact that, you know, well, if you go on the Connect, you will find coach pages, but I don't know if they have anything out of Connect. I know these girls do do other things than the um, healthy app. I know they have their own personal YouTube channels and I think Facebook groups as well. So always good to check those out. So that is gonna be it for me today. Like I said, I will link Roy. I will show here at the end of the video how I, um, how with his guidance, how I was able to change the um, servings. So that's gonna come up next. All right, let me show you. I had to find a product that I need to scan to show you how to adjust your bites to reflect the way you want to measure. So I'm going to go into my healthy app, I'm going to scan this container of meringues. Now see it says serving size one serving. Well, I wanted it to have it in either cookies or, or grams and it doesn't offer that. It only offers servings. So what we do is we go to the three dots up in the upper right and it says edit, you hit edit. Edit food from our official food database or create your own copy under my foods. Perfect. Hit edit again. And then here it says meringues, descriptions, sugar smart. That's optional. It says serving size. And we want to hit one serving. So you want to add, just scroll down so I could find grams. There it is. Now on the package, it says 30, because you see it still says five bites at the top. So we have 30 grams is five bites. So I have to put in 30. So I said save. So it is save. So 30 grams is five bites. So if I want to adjust the grams to maybe 15, it adjusted the points to three. So that's how I like to do things. And then we need to track it, of course. And there you go. So next time I go in for these meringues, it's going to have the grams in there for me. It's saved under my food. So if I go to my food, I should be able to find meringues. There they are. Right there. So, the, so that is how, now you have to do that for every, the only thing that comes up like that, you want to put in a different weight. There's all different, you saw all the ones we scrolled through. You know, we could, you know, we could put pounds, ounces, milligrams, you know, anything that you, you know, ooh, which, ooh look at that, 500, 5,075 bites. But that is, you know, if you, how you want to weigh things. So that is definitely helps me out knowing that I could add that to it. So it really has, because before it was like, oh my gosh, I can't, how am I going to add that? I like to weigh in grams. Well, thank you to Roy for showing me that it is possible to weigh in grams. Well, isn't that fun? I was like so stoked that I could do that because, and what you do is, like I explained, you go in there and you edit it and then on the package, it's telling you how many grams because it, it knows what you have when you go in there. So you're just basically telling it, 
Um, instead of this, you're gonna put it in grams of 28. So those 28 grams match that point, that bite. So that I thought was such a game changer for me. And you know, so that is it for me. Oh, just so you know, I am, I don't know if I call myself an affiliate, I don't know, but um, I do have a $5 off for anybody joining Healthy off your first year. So instead of if it's 29, you would get $5 off of that. And if you've left and want to go back to healthy, say you've left and you, you know, you, d you deleted it a couple years ago, you want to try it again. I do believe that $5 works for you as well, but it's not a yearly thing. Like you can't like renew it and get the $5 off. But if you're going and joining or rejoining, I think the $5 off works. So I'll have that, my coupon code linked down below as well. So in case you want to try it out, like I said, I really like it. I really, really do. Um, I feel less pressure having it. I don't feel so, you know, and it, I just do. And they're not as controversial as Weight Watchers. I feel sometimes Weight Watchers gets involved in all these things and I don't know, it's just so much nicer just to have an app and do your thing though. I'm sure Healthy is gonna get involved in some things because that's how you grow is you get involved in different aspects of things. So I know that'll probably, probably happen. So we'll see. So that is it. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it was helpful. Let me know in the comment section below if you enjoyed it, if it was helpful, and definitely check out Roy. Like I said, linked down below. You want to definitely check him out. And I will also have his video linked at the end because sometimes it's easier to have him linked and linked and linked and linked. So you can, because okay, so now if you're like me, sometimes you're challenged when it comes to finding things. I'm challenged some days, I know. I like things easy, so I try to make it as easy for you as I can, so. I will dish with you another day. If you haven't yet hit the, hit that subscribe button, join us here at Dish With D. We do realistic weight loss, healthy lifestyle content. We talk, we walk, we eat. So if that is something you're interested in, join us here and I will dish with you another day. I'll see you tomorrow for weigh-in. Oh, that's right, it's Friday. Tomorrow's weigh-in and meeting topic. Suzanne says it's my it's my week. She says, this is, this is they wrote this about you. Okay, so I haven't even looked at it yet, so I will see you tomorrow and have a great rest of your day.